Ni hao ni man and welcome. Today um, I'm going to take you with me to the supermarket. And the Chinese supermarket is of course not the same as the supermarket in Europe. So even though there are a gazillion videos out there on YouTube already of people taking their cameras or their phones into the supermarket, um, I just want to like do this too to show you the differences and what I find interesting about the supermarket here. So I'm actually not really looking forward to going because I have to buy quite a few things. I have to get um, like kitty litter. I ordered cat litter online for the first time two days ago but it still has not arrived yet and I ordered three big bags and you know the litter box is starting to smell so I better just go get a whole bag and clean up today and I have to get cat food. Um, also, one of the things that I always have to buy is water because the water from the tap you just cannot drink it. But uh, I usually just go to the shop around the corner for that, even though the supermarket is cheaper. Um, it's just impossible to like drag that all home because the supermarket is quite a walk away. Most supermarkets are inside big malls and then they are like on the lowest floor. But this one, the one closest to my house, is not inside a big mall. And, and not next to a metro station. Most of them are actually, so that's quite convenient. Anyway, we're gonna go to the supermercado. Yeah. So I downloaded the app for the Ofo bikes, and I really want to try that. Let's see. Ah, okay. So I just, with this code, opened uh, or unlocked this bike and we can take it wherever we want. We're not going too far, just to the supermarket. But yay! Ofo bike! You see these yellow bikes everywhere. In fact, they're a bit of a problem because sometimes at like subway exits, subway stops, the whole pavement is littered with yellow bikes and you can't even hardly walk there. And also there are other bikes, not just the yellow bikes. So there's competition between bikes. And uh, yeah, I do believe the yellow one is the most popular. But I might download one of the other apps just to always be sure to have a bike. tend to be a pedestrian just to be safe. Many people do that. They take these bikes but then actually they just kind of like drive around uh, where the pedestrians go because on the street with all these cars it can be really dangerous. Voila. So most supermarkets are actually like near the near the metro stations and most of them are located in big malls. This one is not. This one is just uh, for people to walk to or to take the bus. See these yellow buses? They are just here for people who want to go to the supermarket and then back home. So it's an extra service. It's really good. So I believe these people can take those buses for free after they have shopped at the people's supermarket. There we go. So I'm not sure where the entrance to the supermarket is, but it is here somewhere. So all of those boxes are mooncakes for the moon festival next month. 
so much to choose from. Actually, I forgot to get a basket, so I have to go back. So here are the children's books. I got a couple of those to learn Chinese from. Also, I'm not sure I am allowed to walk around here with my camera, so I, I have to think of a plan to hide it somehow. So these red envelopes, they are here so you could put money in them to give to children or cousins, family members. So I will get some just in case. So I kind of need to buy underwear. I, I bought some underwear earlier, but I bought size M and it didn't fit. So I guess my size here is extra large. Anyway, these are for men. Ladies underwear, M, L. XL. See? What do I do? L or XL? Isn't that beautiful? Let's go. <laughs> you only live once, people. Let's, uh, let's go find the food because actually that's what we're here for. I need to buy eggs and I just need to show you the funky foods they sell. And if somebody catches me with the camera, I'll just hide you guys behind my newly bought underwear. Extra large. Perfect. So many cool mushrooms, I'm taking these. The part behind me is really sad because that's all the live animals, like all the fish. And you could just point at a fish that you want and they kill it for you or maybe you get it home and you kill it yourself. But I don't know, I don't like this part of the supermarket but I'll just quickly show you. They're just alive and the idea behind it is the fresher the better and uh, actually you know there are many supermarkets who have way more like more fish more lobsters this on the other hand looks so good I'm taking some and I'll eat it tomorrow because actually tonight I'm going out to dinner with a friend so that's a problem like whenever I go to the supermarket I end up buying things that actually I don't know when to eat them because um, you know, people eat out here a lot, so most people don't cook at home. So yeah, sometimes I just buy things that I could take with me to work for like lunch. But most of the time I don't cook either. I haven't really done much of that. Here they make fresh noodles and fresh uh, buns. You just take the noodles that you like. Oh, lots of things you can buy quite fresh in the supermarket and that's quite nice. Also, I think these are mooncakes again, except different ones, so fresh mooncakes. At least that's what I think. Some type of cake. And of course, my favorite section of the supermarket is the bakery because, you know, I used to work at a little bakery myself but at the Albert Heijn so also a supermarket bakery but I always really like to see what they have in bakeries in different countries so here we go what do they have hmm
that fuzzy stuff, I know that that is meat. It looks weird, but it's quite tasty actually. And then here are all these cream cakes, whatever they are. Croissant! <laughs> Um, I want to go take you to the tea and the cookies because, um, you know what, what really matters in life? Tea and cookies, so... Yeah. So that is red bean paste uh, mooncake and I think I'm gonna try that. This is durian, this is not your friend. And many snacks are made of like, you know, meat, dried meat, fish, dried tofu. So actually, I want to try that tofu stuff. I guess that one of these days, I'm just going to buy a lot of these snacks and try them uh, and maybe do a little video about what is my favorite Chinese snack. So these are all like meat and vegetable snacks that people can put in a bag and then you pay for the whole bag of them but the thing is my Chinese is too bad so half of the time I don't know what is in them so I don't really trust those yet tea tea and coffee so here we go you could just uh, take a box and put tea in it China is not a really not really a coffee country the only thing that they do drink here is uh, instant coffee so those are really big but it's really hard to find good coffee unless you want to go to Starbucks which you don't so here we go like all these instant coffees and also lots of instant milk teas actually like the type of tea that they use for bubble tea so yeah like this like uh, rose flavor milk tea actually I did try that and it was quite good but right now I just need some Earl Grey because I am out of that and I would like to get sure I guess amazingly gray hey do you see what I see I thought this little guy was banned from China so the reason why I was surprised to find Winnie the Pooh in the supermarket is that Winnie the Pooh is supposed to be forbidden or banished from China um, for kind of political reasons actually because a while ago um, people used pictures of Winnie the Pooh um, online as if it was the president so representing the president the current president of China and uh, they say that he looks like Xi Jinping and so to express political opinions people use pictures of Winnie the Pooh instead and they found out so that's why Winnie the Pooh is forbidden but I guess I guess not that forbidden. I do know that also Justin Bieber is banished, but I found out that it really just means the person Justin Bieber is not allowed in the country. The music is being played everywhere. My students know Justin Bieber. They like Justin Bieber. <laughs> they play they play Justin Bieber music everywhere. So that's just about the physical person who is not allowed in the country. But Winnie the Pooh is a different story. Also, the reason why my vlog ends here is because in the middle of the supermarket my camera stopped working and I hadn't even shown you the cookies yet so I did buy some but I guess I will have to go back to the supermarket so later later this week or maybe next week you can join me for supermarket part 2 I'm thinking of doing a supermarket part 2 and I am thinking of doing a video about interesting Chinese snacks and I'm thinking about doing a video comparing um, the Dutch school and uh, the Chinese school that I'm working at right now and maybe I'll do a video about uh, what it is like having pets in China I don't know if you're interested in anything in particular just let me know in the comments below and maybe uh, maybe I can cater to your needs or your questions and in the meantime um, get ready for supermarket part 2 and we will see you next time ah kitty Sai Jin.